Yeah. Oh, come in this side. Oh my God, it was. I don't know. I can't even believe it that I'm. I am this side. But I'm already this side. It's so funny. It is so miraculous for me to believe that I'm even this side. I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, is this what I'm doing? Is it really worth it? But again, like I always tell you, I find myself like start thing that I'm having. It's the one that I'm having right now. Like something that you have. Okay, something that is available to you, either use it or not. And I've been in a position where I wasn't using it. I felt like if I used it like a long time ago, it would, I, couldn't, I wouldn't be in this position. So that's why I'm really trying up to at least maybe use it. But sometimes I'm really questioning myself like, if it's really worth it. I don't know, I just don't know. Okay, today is a Sunday. And I'm here again to talk to you. Like, is it really funny anymore? It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. But somebody was saying on the bike, like, she, she works in a police or like she handles she was telling me she handles what i'm forgetting what she was telling me but she was telling me like uh, she handles the papers and most of her colleagues like need bribe to finish on the papers but her she whenever she gets a paper like papers from somebody she just works on somebody without even asking for money and she was telling me it's like someday like one day, a person gave her 100k for just passing on the, her papers. She was telling me about God. Yeah, she was telling me about God. And I'm so grateful and thankful to her. She didn't know me, man, again. Like, I mean, these people, they don't know me. They know nothing about me. But when they, like that bike, me coming to Kampala was requesting lifts coming this side. This side is called Kampala. Me coming this side, I was requesting lifts. But my last lift, it is her that told the guy, the border guy, I don't know if they know each other. But she helped me get that last bike that enabled me get into Kampala up to this point, up to where I started working. I feel like I'm really grateful. And it's, I'm not being helped because, no, no, like I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm being helped as a date, right, to me. So that whenever or any time that I'm, I'm in a position where I can help somebody, I will help somebody. I think that's the debt God is giving to me. Like, because this woman helped me and I didn't know her. She said, you just take him, God will pay you. That's what she was saying. Like she was telling the guy, you take him, God will pay you. God will even pay you whenever at some time you don't even expect or will give you something that you don't even, you, you were not thinking about. That's what she was saying. And the reason she was like saying that she was from church, oh my God. So I'm really thankful. I'm really thankful and grateful for everybody out there that's been helping me, man. I don't know, like, Thank you for helping me, man. Yes, I've helped people. Like, I remember one night I helped a lady. She was stranded. I, I was also, like, stranded, but again, had some money on me. And she had a kid. I remember I helped her. 
So God, you know that when you help me, you know that I can help people too. You know that, yeah, I, I, I'm very sorry at one time, I had money and somebody asked me for help and I didn't help because I was like keeping it I wanted it to be my but I that was very bad of me and I don't want to be such a person ever again in my life yeah I'm really sorry to that person that person is is closer to me so I'm really sorry and I don't want to be that person ever again in my whole life like okay it was conditions okay it was something that I was thinking when I gave him the money I won't I will be left with nothing it's like I was protecting the money but that's how it is so today I feel like my whole body is tired like tired you can see even the way I'm walking like my whole body is like tired because of running like the other time I ran and I'm not proud of myself to say that I've missed two days without running like come on I've missed two days two days I ran on the other day but I've been like, you know, one of the hardest things is to wake up and you go for running because, like, people be staring at you, people to people to be talking about you. But I don't care about all that. Sometimes that I don't know why I'm like that, but I just want to change. I just want to change. I feel like this is the time for me to get my change. Change. I need to change. Okay, so I just came straight to talking to what I was first, like what I first get this side where I'm heading. I just told you I came this side. I didn't have money on me, and it's, I can't lie about it that. I feel like why would I have to lie about it? I didn't have any money on me. Like any single coin, even right now. No, not right now. Because right now means something different, right? But the time that I'm filming this video, I don't have any cash on me. I don't know how I will come back from this side. But I believe that I will just come back. I don't know what. Sometimes this idea to me is really crazy. Of what I'm doing. It's crazy to me. I can't even explain it to myself. How will I explain it to other people? But. It's like a challenge to me. It's like a challenge. But. I will be okay, I know. I think I, sh I should use this opportunity to talk to God. Because God is the provider of everything. So God, I'm praying that you provide for me. You know what I really need. I need your provision, God. I'm taking that moment to, to pray to God. And this video will be there. God will see this video and remember that I use this time to pray to Him, to ask for that provision that I really need in my life. I just want a way, God, to start my life, to live. Queen's land, what does that mean? Okay. Sometimes, like, I put the water bottle in the bag. Okay, let me tell you something. So today my father was asking me that I don't make call call. Like, he was asking me, you don't even call? And I was telling him, I'm always... I don't have credit most of the times, like on my phone. That's what he was asking me, like... 
he said you don't even call but I wanted to ask him you don't even call too you don't call too just like a two way thing I don't call and me the reason I give is because I don't have credit and I wanted to ask him you why don't you call you, you don't have credit too that's what I wanted to ask but I didn't ask so I don't make calls to anybody because of most of the times I don't have cash on me somebody was was asking me what happened to you and like was asking me what happened to me that's what she was asking me what happened and I was telling her I don't know what happened I don't know what happened man I can even ask myself that question what happened to me like what happened what's up with me and I want myself to give myself that answer. I want me to give myself that answer. What happened to me? What's happening to me? That's what I want to know. Because everybody's like asking me. And when I look at what I look at, sometimes I don't believe it's true. But sometimes it's reality, like reality, like you see it. But then I, I know that I have to perceive this is just reality that I'm seeing, but then I have to perceive the reality that I feel in the way that I want. If I allow this reality that I'm facing right now to be reality to me, it will be reality to me, but I don't allow it to be reality. But sometimes I'm just asking myself, what's happening? What happened? Like, what happened, really? Like why is everything happening the way it's happening in my life? I wish I can tell myself that answer. What's happening? Why? Like, I won't say why to victimize myself. Like, because sometimes I can say maybe I'm asking myself of something. But when I ask myself in the way that I feel is going to, I'm going to be the victim, like me acting in a victim mentality. It's very funny, like life is so hard. Life is hard, but life is very good. Because I just don't know like how many years ago I just feel it is, I don't know like why am I busting in that way, in that form. But I find myself, that's the way I'm talking of, because somebody asked me and I didn't have an answer. So she was like, tell me what happened. And I told her, I don't know what happened. And I asked her, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think, because me, I don't know what happened. And she was comforting me. She, she told me like God will handle everything. And that's the same reason that's the same thing the woman I've met today told me like she told me that God will handle everything. That's what she told me. Like God handles everything. Like, should I close my eyes and just, I don't know. So I was passing by the town today, and I was looking at some place called Mavirizi. That's the place where my friends, I have some two friends that work from there. I don't know if they came today, but it's very funny that at least in the city I have two friends. Like, that I come and socialize with sometimes. You see, like, how walking sometimes is really... Some days I feel like I'm weak. My body feels like it's very weak. But again, I have to walk go the other side. So it's not very easy as it, I thought. Maybe some, like, in my head I was thinking it's easy. Because... 
in the mind it's very easy man you think of something and it's very easy to, to say it or to but when you come to act on it it starts getting really heavy on you so my mind okay like I was like I need to really have a life I really need to have a life like I love doing these vlogs for you but I think I can do vlogs in, a, in another way I don't know I find myself this is the way that I'm doing the vlogs but I know I can do them in another way and I told you the main reason as to why I come this side yes I get a chance to talk to you but the main reason is this place is where I'm getting internet and I don't know what is in my head man why do I have to chase internet like it's life why do I have to chase internet like I'm betting my life on this internet why man because opportunities like because no opportunities, man. Uh, that's the reality. That's the truth, man. I feel like the internet is the way. It's the place where I'm. I'm, I'm supposed to get that opportunity. Yeah. I'm just looking for an opportunity. But I admire these people that preach from the road. I don't know. They preach. They come out here and preach, man. Let me cross. Like, I admire them. They come on the streets and they preach. Oh. So I wanted to tell you something. Today I've been, I've been seeing people like holding. Is it cold? I think today is a Palm Sunday. They hold those things. I don't know how they call them in English. Like how they call them? I don't even know how they call them in Luganda. But like, I think today was a, a Palm Sunday. I have seen one. It's like this. I don't know. I don't know. Why do they call this? I've been seeing people holding them. So let me hold mine too here. As I walk. I don't know what Palm Sunday means. What? Like Palm Sunday is the day Jesus Christ was walking and people were lying. I don't remember that stuff very well. But I've been just seeing it all over. And I just wanted to get mine too. Yeah. I think I have to pass. Yeah, when I'm crossing the road, I have to be serious. We don't play from the road. So today was, I think, a Palm Sunday. And I, I didn't attend church. But I've got to hold on this. Yeah? So whatever it represents, I pray that it represents me too. Because I've been seeing people holding it. I think maybe it's a blessing and I need to get that blessing too. I need to... I want to get on the blessings that this Sunday had. Yeah? Maybe I'll come back and i tell you that you are seeing me holding the... Is it called a palm? I don't know how they call it, man. It's just that... I've, I've shown you people were holding them in churches, I think. Because I think that way because I remember in school we had days where, where it was like that. Okay. So I think I'm about to reach the other place where I get to get internet from. But I'm just praying. I don't know. Sometimes I really want to ask myself questions. 
like ask myself, sit myself down and ask myself tough questions. And I really need questions. I, I, no, I really need answers. Because myself, I believe that I can give myself answers. Because if I'm having the questions in my head, who is going to answer them? Who is going to answer the questions? Yeah? Yeah, so that's why I like. By then, I think I, sometimes I'm hard on myself. Like I'm trying to be very hard on myself. But then I think it's very good for me to be hard on myself. Because I think when I get hard on myself, I'll try to push myself. Okay, I think I'm developing some bad habit. And I wanted to shame myself. Because I feel like when I shame myself, I will stop the habit. There's a bad habit. Remember, like, I come from home. Uh, I live there when most of the times I'm hungry, I didn't eat. Like today, like right now, I'm very hungry and my belly feels empty. It's very empty. I don't know. I wish I can show you inside my stomach and you know that I'm hungry right now and my belly is empty. So like the bad habit that I'm developing, I come from this side where I get internet after uploading the videos when I'm very hungry. When I reach home, I thank God, uh, Almighty God and Allah to be strict about it. Or I, by a miracle, I find there are some food. Like I find there are food. But the bad habit that I have is I come when I'm very hungry. So to assure myself, I am reporting myself to you that I eat a lot. I find myself eating and eating and eating and a lot, eating a lot, eating a lot. Yes, we are far. Police are not came to me. Not going to me. Why do I eat a lot? I know that I'm, I spend the whole day hungry, but that doesn't give me a reason to eat like it's the end of the world. So I think I should stop it. I've ashamed myself. I should should be laughing at me because eating a lot. I let my hunger take over my brain and then I eat a lot. But that has to stop. Because like when I eat a lot during that night, I, it's very even hard for me to sleep, to get a good sleep. It's one of the reasons I think I... Most of the times I'm not waking up to go and run because like my body is very loaded with food to fight with and remember I eat during the night when I'm going to sleep so I feel like I, I really I need help, I need to stop doing such a habit yes I talk about it because it's been on my mind for a long time and I, I don't know why, I come back, like, I come back from home, I come, like, whenever I come back, I know that yesterday I ate a lot, like, really eating a lot, and I don't want, I don't want to repeat it again, but my dear, I come when I'm very hungry, like, very, very hungry, and that's the point that I get to get some food like it's like a miracle that I've gotten food to eat I don't know my like when I was growing up I I used to oversee the importance of food but right now like I'm always hungry my belly is over empty so when I get food I'm like an animal I don't control myself and I eat too it's like I eat to 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 make my belly full. Like I eat and I forget that it's food. It's just meant to be ate. But sometimes I don't blame myself for those manners that I have of eating a lot. And I feel very bad because I'm not the one who puts that food on the table. Like 
I feel like my life, I don't want to describe my life, me being a dependent. I, I thought maybe by, I don't know what I was thinking when I was still a kid, when I was just growing up. I don't know if, I think I didn't imagine my life when I grow up, up to this stage. Yeah? Maybe my young self would have thought of how my life should be when I grow up, when I'm old right now. I think my young self, I don't want to blame my young self, but my young self, I think, wasn't seeing, like, like my young self knew the things that are going to be happening, and my young self didn't do anything. Yeah? Okay, I don't want to be harsh on myself, on the young self, maybe. I'm just learning about it. Yeah. Okay. But I'm trying this. I'm trying this in a, for a year. I don't know. A year is very. <laughs> to say a year, it is very simple that I can try this for a year. It's very, very simple to say. <laughs> but a year has a day like every day it's very hard very hard very 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 hard but i feel bad that i'm not providing for myself and i feel that i should be providing for myself i should be providing for my food i should be providing for the clothes that i wear the shoes yeah i should be providing for myself and I feel that, I believe that I can provide for myself. I believe that I can handle myself. That's what I've wanted for a long time. I just want to be able to manage myself. At least to, I'm praying to God to give me a chance to, to have my own life, to be a man for, that's what, that's what I'm praying, Almighty God. Give me a chance to, to handle myself. I know sometimes maybe I'm not a bad, maybe I'm, maybe I'm a bad person. Maybe everything is happening to me in the way that because maybe I'm a bad person. And I don't know that I'm a bad person. But I just want to be a good person. I just want to be like the man they say that the men that are hard working. I want to be a hard working man. I've, I remember I've ever told it to my dad that I admire him. He's a... Uh, I don't want to get into the privacy. I admire him. He's so hard working. Like he's uh, very hard working. I, sometimes I was telling some day sometime I was telling him that I admire the hard working part of him. I just pray maybe one day I'm so hard working. Not like him but like me. Oh, oh it all doesn't matter as long as you can provide. That's what I'm praying for man God. God, I don't know when you'll get to see this video, Almighty God, but please give me a chance. Give me, enable me to provide for myself, God. Enable me, Almighty God. I think now, right now, I'm saying you, God, enable me because I feel like it's no longer in my control. I feel like I need you, your intervention, your intervention, whatever that word is. I need you around. Yeah. Okay, I'm saying goodbye. I love you. Uh, take care. Take good, good care of yourself. Yeah. Love yourself. That's all you can do, man. To love yourself. And take good care of yourself. I love you and will always be here saying that same word that I love you because I really mean it.